being from, from, a, from a country that is a, an energy producer that was facing a very tough time. You know, when I started in school, Venezuela, which had been a very successful and stable uh, democracy and economy, started having major trouble. There was a, a coup attempt against the government. I wanted to understand why the country had, uh, you know, gone in such a bad direction. And then, you know, very quickly, I understood that you needed to understand the energy markets, you needed to understand the, the politics and the economics of not only the sector itself, but also the management of the resource wealth. My name is Francisco Monaldi. I am the director of the Latin American Energy Policy and a fellow at the Center for Energy Studies at the Baker Institute for Public Policy. I'm an economist by training, and when I uh, did my PhD, I focused on the political economy of the oil industry. I went back to my home country, uh, Venezuela, uh, and I founded a, a center on energy studies uh, at the business school there. I traveled uh, throughout the region and, and did both teaching and, and research in Colombia, in Ecuador, in Peru, in Mexico, um, in Panama. Um, and so that gave me a, a, a view uh, of the issues in the region, about the commonalities and differences between the, the issues that, that were faced by different countries. Some countries are you know, major exporters of hydrocarbons, some are importers. Um, now you know, some are uh, reaching critical minerals. And so that uh, diversity, but also the, the common sort of challenges uh, throughout the region, uh, helped me to, to do a lot of comparative uh, research, uh, which is, you know, a lot of what I do is, is trying to understand why certain countries have the policies they have and what are the implications both for the countries themselves but also for the energy markets in the world. I started working for the, as an advisor to a political campaign of a, a opposition candidate in Venezuela. Um, and eventually that uh, made it uh, relatively hard to stay in the country given the nature of the Venezuelan regime. So I um, was lucky to get invited by the Harvard Kennedy School to be a visiting professor at Harvard and did research on similar issues. But um, I have to say that the experience was um, very interesting because I, I started doing research in other regions of the world. So I started working in Saudi Arabia, in, uh, in Kazakhstan, in Albania. And of course, I continued to do my work in, in Latin America. And eventually, uh, they offered me to, to come here. Uh, that's about a decade ago. And, and becoming one of the first in the, in the team of the, of the Center for Energy Studies. We are do, doing an assessment, you know, a, a data-driven assessment of the realities of the region and to understand these challenges. And we help inform both industry and governments in the region about uh, these issues. Uh, then we evaluate uh, the policies that are, are implemented and the possible options of policy change that might you know, improve or, or advance the objectives that governments uh, might have or that the, the world have in terms of you know, climate uh, change uh, action. Uh, we have a very uh, fluid relationship with a lot of in influential actors, some countries more than others, but to give you an idea, we have had here the heads of almost all the national uh, oil companies in the region. We have had the ministers of oil, of oil, the, the, the major producers. So we want to be uh, an important stage for these uh, discussions and also a provider of knowledge, data, and uh, policy recommendations uh, in that uh, uh, space.